The Painter's Cat, written and illustrated by Sharon Wooding. Michio stared sadly out the window of the monastery. Lorenzo, his master, who had taken him in from the streets a year before, didn't seem to need him anymore. Michio's stomach rumbled. He jumped down from the ledge and rubbed himself against Lorenzo's legs. No response. He purred loudly, but Lorenzo didn't even look away from his work. A drop of polenta spilled off the artist's table, and Michu lunged for it. Pee! Spoiled! Michu batted it away. When the apprentice came to grind Lorenzo's colors for him, Michu caught his eye. The boy gave him a scratch under the chin. There, there, little Michu, he said, and he started to pour a bowl of milk. But then Lorenzo shouted from the other room. Where are you, Paolo? I can't wait all day. I'm working on something important. So the apprentice dropped what he was doing and never came back. An hour later, there was a knock at the door. Lorenzo jumped up from his sketching to answer. Michu froze. <coughs> there stood a man with a grizzled beard, a woman in a red dress, and an enormous creature with wings. Buongiorno, Lorenzo said to the terrible strangers. Come in and sit down while I get you some refreshment. Refreshment? Refreshment! This was too much! He couldn't mean to feed them first. Michio followed Lorenzo into the kitchen to see for his own eyes. It was true, and to make matters worse, the monster with wings was going to have his snack in Michio's chair. Michio tried to get the creature's attention by swatting him with his paw. When that didn't work, he tried just a tiny bit of claw. <laughs> oh! howled the monster. Bad cat! scolded Lorenzo. Scat! And he picked Michio up and plunked him down outside the door. Michio was insulted. Michio left home. Up and down the streets of Venice, he wandered until he came upon some children playing. Aha, he thought, if I amuse them with some tricks, maybe they'll feed me. It seemed to be going well until the youngest one grabbed his tail. Whoosh! Down the narrow streets he sped. Michio came to a market near a wide and splendid canal. <laughs> At one stand, a woman was selling loaves of rich brown bread. He reached for one with both paws, but before he could say prego, the woman sent him sprawling. Misha's whiskers drooped. His stomach had given up growling and settled into a steady ache, but he plodded on. Bona sera, said a friendly man, tossing Misha a fish. At last! He pounced on his morsel and licked the salty scales. Suddenly, a black clump of fur came crashing down from nowhere. Michio hissed and cried in protest. But then more cats came, yowling and yanking at the fish. Poor Michio gave up and headed back to the alleyways. And so it went for Michio as he strayed through the city looking for food shying from the rain, but he only grew thinner and lonelier as the days went by. Then finally one black night, as he sat in the doorway with raindrops rolling off his whiskers, Michio saw a familiar boot. It was Paolo, whistling as he walked, and before he knew it, Michio was following. When they reached the monastery, Michio stopped under Lorenzo's room. Lightning lit the sill as Michio jumped up. He pushed aside the unlatched shutters and stepped around a puddle gathering inside. 
a fat gathering candle lit part of the room with a weak and steady light, but it led Michio to Lorenzo. The painter lay asleep at his drawing table, pictures piled about him and half covering his face like a paper blanket. Cautiously, Michio hopped up and padded softly over the papers. With a gentle swipe, he uncovered a drawing of a cat. Wait, not just any cat, Michio. Picture after picture, he uncovered Michio sleeping. Mishu eating, and one of Mishu leaping into the air with a look of terror on his face. Finally, Mishu noticed Lorenzo's canvas, which was now turned toward the center of the room, and for the first time, Mishu knew what his master had been working on all these weeks. An extraordinary painting of the man with a beard, the woman in red, the creature with wings, and of Mishu himself right in the middle of everything. Do you like it? Lorenzo asked, lifting his sleepy head. It took me a while. I am very tired. The artist took a long look at Michu. You have been gone too long, my friend, but it's good to have you back. I am sorry if I neglected you. Lorenzo stroked his fur. You're wet, he said. With a soft towel, he gently dried Michu off. He lit a fire and put Michu's favorite cushion by the grate. Then he put out a tray of fresh fish and a bowl of milk and made himself a mug of something hot. Here's to you, Michu, he said, raising the drink. Here's to my favorite model. Michu looked up from the fish long enough to blink his eyes in return. It was hard work being part of a great painting, but sometimes it was worth it. Hi. If you like this video, please give this a like and hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified whenever I release a new video.